I always wanted a triple booting setup for myself, which would involve Windows, Android, Chrome OS, Linux, everything. And so I created my own triple booting 3-in-1 operating system setup which involves Windows 11, Vanilla OS and Fire OS. Now you might be wondering like why the heck I need to install 3 OS in one PC while Windows can do most of the stuff or Linux can do most of the stuff. Well let me just tell you really. It supports Adobe Suite, it has Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, all of that along with DaVinci Resolve which yeah it is true that DaVinci Resolve is available on Linux but we all know DaVinci Resolve is literally not that good on Linux especially when you cannot use mp4 app files on it and then why you like you must be wondering then if I am using Windows then why do I need vanilla OS well it's minimal secure and flexible along with one of the most powerful operating systems for coding and development. Yeah, I wanted to learn about coding and stuff. That is why I went for Linux as well. Now you might be wondering like, I have two operating systems already. Why do I need a third operating system, which is nothing but a Chrome browser with Android applications? Well, FireOS is actually beyond that. It's lightweight. Yes, it is a cloud connected operating system, which is like good for web applications, but how it is different from a normal web browser? Well, it has Steam, it has all the Android applications. You can play Android games with keyboard and mouse, and it is very power efficient, it is very fast, it is just the perfect operating system for chilling everyday use, home users, and that is why whenever I'm free and I'm not working, I always open FireOS because then I'm not working and I don't I don't need to do all of that stuff. And yeah, FireOS actually allows you to save a lot of battery life. The best battery life I get is on FireOS. That is so true. Now let me tell you my experience with each OS. You see, let's start with FireOS. You see, recently I created a video about how you can play Free Fire with keyboard and mouse on FireOS. And literally, like you don't need a key mapper because Free Fire now gives you a full-fledged PC version on Chrome OS and Fire OS. You can play Free Fire Max at highest settings with keyboard and mouse without any key mapper directly. And that was just so amazing experience. And I am gonna stay on Fire OS or Chrome OS because I love playing Free Fire on that. You see, the overall thing is Fire OS is just the perfect alternative for doing lightweight tasks using Android application and it is very fast on booting. It has a beautiful Google's material. It is not flexible as Windows and powerful as Windows. Oh well, it is not flexible like Linux, but it is actually amazing for everyday use. Now let's go to the other one, which is for business vanilla OS. That is when I'm learning about coding, AI and Python, all of that stuff. You see, I'm a beginner, but uh, you see, I'm a beginner in coding world, but I'm not beginner in Linux. So yeah, I know that using an immutable distribution for coding and development is just one of the best feelings, especially when you have GNOME operating system, you have a desktop and you get flat packs. That's it. Yes, Vanilla OS has so much power and I'm still learning, but my overall experience as a beginner of immutable Linux distributions is just awesome. Yes, it is best for serious coding without any distractions. It is just so smooth. It is so powerful. And yes, it also gives me the strength to disable my GPU when I don't want to. And when I'm doing light coding and I want to save battery life, I can literally switch between GPU modes. That's actually something which I don't get in most of the operating systems these days. And Vanilla OS is like, it's not just for coding. I sometimes open Kden Live, edit a video or maybe do something else like really. As you know, most of my workflow is actually web based. So all I need is a web browser and I'll be doing my work. And now let's go to the windows. Like, yes, most of my work has been done on FireOS and Vanilla OS and by windows. Well, you see, most of the time I use DaVinci Resolve for my video editing. I also use FlexClip, which is like an amazing online video editor. But that is for just normal videos when I'm doing some tutorials and creating videos for my main channel. Then yes, I'm going to use 
Da Vinci is all for quick. Like Da Vinci is all is just so fast, so powerful that I don't need to spend a lot of time editing because Da Vinci is all does that for me in ease. It is compatible with most of the professional softwares. And yeah, there's only one downside like updates are annoying. The system is bloated and yeah, Windows is sort of a spyware, but I literally want to ask all of those users who don't use Windows just for the sake of privacy. You see, if you want to be that secure, then why don't you install Linux on your Android? Yes, your Android or your iOS device is already stealing most of your personal information. So what can Windows do if all the data is already on your phone and it is actually already being stolen away by big companies like Google or Apple? If you want to avoid that, if you are that safety nerd, then why don't you just start with the obvious thing? Change your phone into a Linux or dummy phone or maybe like install Linux on your Android or iOS phone. But you will not do that because you need Google applications. You need all of that stuff. And that same applies for the creative professionals for when they use Windows. Yes, it is true that Linux is way better than Windows in a lot of stuff. But professionalism and the professional stuff which involves applications which are not available for Linux. At that time, Windows is necessary. Windows is just like friction. It is a necessary evil. And now, as I'm talking about, if there are a lot of users who that you might have your own ideas of using Windows, Linux and Derpfest OS or Windows, Linux and Bliss OS, Prime OS. Like, or you might want to just install all the operating systems in one PC, but it is very delicate because as you install a lot of operating systems using partitions, if you have multiple SSDs and hard disk and pen drives, then yeah, it's going to be fine. But if you're installing it on a single machine with a single HDD or SSD, then it's going to mess up. Like I just installed three operating systems and I'm already facing issues with my Windows boot up and partitioning stuff. Yeah. And that is why I'll be properly installing everything from start a clean installation, which I'll create a video about like a tutorial of how you can install multiple operating systems in one PCs because this proper structure, a line of a chain of how you're going to install things. Because if you just randomly install things, then it's going to mess up. Now, let me just tell you who should try the setup. You see those creators who want a dedicated system for video editing, photo editing, and along with that, they want a system for coding and stuff. And along with that, they want to chill out sometimes with Android games. This is actually perfect, but for you see casual users who just want to use one operating system or just professionals who literally don't like you see those users who are actually professional they don't care about which operating system they're using as long as it gets their work done and that is why this setup or this multiple operating system is only for those who are curious and enthusiast about using such things besides it is nothing more than out of passion I was passionate about operating systems. That is why I tried this, but I do not recommend this. And yeah, if you are going to take risks, then a tutorial will be coming on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe. And with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Oom, signing out.